me, I'd rather live in a manyata, but I have a million bob in the bank. I'm not spending it. Yeah. I just feel nice that it's there. It's safe. Uh-huh. So I would rather buy a 200k dress, but she's sleeping hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is that you are uh, getting us. We are really grateful that you've been able to join us in yet another episode of Life with Noni Mothani. Karibuni, karibuni sana. I know it's been a minute uh, since the last time I was in this space, but we are back. And this time we are back bigger and better. And today I am joined. Mm. I am so honored and privileged <laughs> to be joined by the greatness. Ah. <laughs> oh, what other name can I give? Hey, I'm so excited to have you guys. You exaggerate. Thank you. Thank you, Nani. Utaribu, <laughs> Zanzi. You exaggerate. Okay, okay. Kajibuni, <laughs> Sana. Anyway, I'm so glad to have you Thank guys. Thank you. Uh, you guys can continue. You can introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, only this, uh, All right. So you can tell us your name, what you do. <clears throat> okay. They are definitely familiar faces. If you've not seen them anywhere, I don't know what kind of content you are. What? <laughs> But anyway. They're watching entertainment <laughs> content, which is not bad. Anyway. So my name is Soila, this mm-hmm. is Curtis. We are majorly known as Soila and Curtis on YouTube mm-hmm. and social media platforms because we do have a YouTube channel. Yeah. We talk a lot about lifestyle, marriage and relationships yeah. and also parenting and family. Mm-hmm. So that's basically what we do. Uh, on the other side of not being on YouTube, we are parents, we are husband and wife. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> you're not just friends, you're husband and wife. And parents to one lovely boy, mm-hmm. a very adorable. Boy. Thank you. Very, oh. Who's one year? Who's already one? And yeah, anything else? He's an artist, fine artist. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yes, uh, Curtis is my name. You forgot to tell them the T is silent. All right, Curtis. So, oh, so, so it is Curtis. It is Curtis. Yeah. So Ella is my wife, uh, friend, uh, partner in a lot of things. Partner Ooh. in life. Let me yes. call it that. And uh, yeah, great days ahead. Good job. Yeah. Well done. Mm. I'm so so honored and privileged to have Thank you for having us here. Yes. Yes. Uh, I know for sure this video is going to be an interesting one. As you can see from the title of today's video, we're talking all things money. What do you call money in your mother tongue? Robiani. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are talking ro- Robiani. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're talking all things money and we'll be looking at different things. Um, about money, uh, money, how we use money and as, as young people in this generation, how to better ourselves as far as money is concerned. Mm. But before we get into the gist of things, I'd like us to start with the game. A short trivia of 30 seconds, just to lighten up the mood. Yeah. So, um, uh, the one who answers the most questions in 30 seconds answers them right. I wish those are present, but anyway. Don't worry, don't worry. There better be a reward. So you guys are ready? So the money related and some of them are general. Oh, okay. Yo, all right. All right, so you guys are ready? Very, very, we are going very fast. I'm never ready, okay, but yeah. (laughs) Don't worry. All right, question number one. What is the world's most popular currency, the euro or the dollar? Dollar. (laughs) Correct. Uh, What has two banks but no money? River bank. Correct. Uh, money is the root of all evil. True or false? false. True. False. True. No, the false. love for money is the root of all evil. Oh, shucks. Sure. What is the world's most wealthiest machine? Bank. No. The ATM. Yes. Uh, there are 86,400 seconds in a day. True or false? True. True. Correct. Uh, name at least three official banks in Kenya. And CBS, Tanchat, and... Uh, and CBS, Tanchat, Corporate. Ah! <laughs> you guy, yeah, you guy. Yeah, yeah. Which president's portrait is currently on Kenyan? Kenyatta. <laughs> You're right. In which year did we transition to the current notes that we have in Kenya? 2018. 2019. Correct. What? Governments <laughs> produce coins in a place called a what? Central Bank. Okay. No, 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 no. The factory where money is produced. Actually, I don't know. Ah. It's a flavor. A strawberry. No. <laughs> It's a flavor. Chocolate? No! <laughs> what is that flavor? Alright, time is going. It's a mint. One yes. of the ten, <laughs> Come on, one right. of the ten commandments forbids the coveting of a neighbor's property. Which one? Fourth. No. Fifth. No. Fifth. <laughs> no, you cannot be doing that. You can't be doing, you can't that. Be doing that. 
Don't go time there. Is seven. Time is seven. No. Okay, we don't know. No. Start. The ten. The ten. How many people? This is a very easy question. How many people should be in a field during a football match? Twenty-two. No. You're very close though. Twenty-four. No. Eleven. Twenty-three. No. no. Wait. Twenty-three. Seven. Eleven. Plus Finally, three. Which, the last question. Which is the largest organ in your body? The liver. No. The, the lungs. Heart. No. No. The largest. No. Yes, I is the largest organ in your body. Skip. <laughs> but you can <laughs> <it>. Skip. <laughs> You're not. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> is this an organ? Yeah, it yes, is. your skin is an organ. Shoot, and thank like, you, Jonathan. Every... <laughs> that one will cancel. Let me no, it. <laughs> please, you already has leakage, all of them. Leakage. No. Okay. Anyway, I don't know if my team can tell us who the win was. Am I the tie? So we can mm -hmm. probably go back to the questions I want. No. Yes. I love, uh, I like you, later. you just got the bank. You got the bank, and actually, you just got the bank, and you done my bank. You got the river bank and the, the river bank, bank and the bank. Well, I'm quite sure to bat it off. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. Yes, I've done right. Well. <laughs> you win, I win. So it's no, okay. you all lose. Right, all right, right. I think that we can go on. Um, but you guys, are, you've done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just to give this uh, this video a retrospect, I want us to look back. Um, when is the first time you ever earned money? Whether you're in high school or university, and how did you spend it? Give it, yeah. The first time you ever interacted, either whether it was a salary, whether it was, uh, I don't know, pocket money or what. Oh. Yes. How did how did you how did you spend? Just to give it a retrospect. Yeah. The first time I earned money, I was in campus, mm -hmm. and it was the first portrait I did. Ah. So I did a portrait for someone, and at mm -hmm. that time I was charging five hundred. Mm -hmm. Wow. Five hundred was a lot of money. Yeah, right. Oh, what? Because I'd never earned, I was being, you know, pocket well, money. Yeah. So this is something I've earned. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a big deal. So I went and bought more pencils. Yeah, you oh, nice. You invested back in your busy yeah. Ashara. Yeah. I think the first time I earned money was definitely when I left campus and then I was working. Mm -hmm. But the first time I interacted with money when I was in primary school, because I went to boarding when I was in class seven. Mm -hmm. So I said I was given pocket, pocket money. money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I started interacting with money, and the only thing that I'd use it for is to the canteen, buying food, snacks. Mm -hmm. Which I still do up to now. Okay. When I have like surplus for me, it's for food. Yeah, for indulging. So pro priorities had to be In, right. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, right. uh, given that you guys, I watch a lot of your content and I I see a lot of systems, principles, <laughs> yes. systems, principles. So come on, because there are systems and principles. Yeah. But generally, that is what life is about. If True. you do not follow the principles that are there, mm. then you do not expect it to work in your favor. Yes. So in regards to money, what would you say, especially now in this generation? I realize we as young people, and there's a lot of opportunities that can give us money. The other day I was looking at, I don't know if you follow Just Ivy, and mm -hmm. she does a series called Money Monday. Mm -hmm. So she gives a lot of questions on money, how people earn money and all that. So the other day I was looking at how people earn money and I was like, people have earn a lot of money but how they spend it on things like food addiction, clothes addiction. It's I mean people who somebody would say that they spend one hundred and fifty thousand thousand on a pair of shoes. And I'm like, you got a lot of money. You so do. Looking at uh, this young generation, maybe what would you say are the uh, okay, I don't know what to call them systems, yeah. but uh, uh, guided principles that can help us to uh, use money properly. Mm. Probably the one thing that I'd mention, and then I leave it to Curtis, mm -hmm. is money should never control you. Right. If anything, you're the one who should be in charge okay. of the money that you have. Yeah. I think that gives you <clears throat> more control on how you're using the money yeah. compared to it guiding you mm -hmm. now that i'm getting let's say a hundred thousand i'm going out to be eating out every day yeah you know yeah. but it should be okay now that i'm getting probably eighty thousand or a hundred thousand it shouldn't control how i'm going to be spending it mm -hmm. if anything now you sit down and plan as an individual how you want to spend it yeah because if you don't have a plan yeah. that means and you're waiting for that money to come so that you can plan for it exactly. it's controlling you yeah. in a way 
But if you sit down and decide, okay, I'm the one in charge, so whatever money I'm going to get, if anything, you already have plans in place. Yeah. By the time somebody approaches you, let's say you go for a meeting or a networking event, and then somebody asks you, what's your need right now? Yeah. You already have something in mind yeah. that you'd want to invest in. Uh, you tell them, probably right now I have a need that is worth 120 million, and they're like, okay, I can give it that to you because you already see that you have a plan. But if you say, eh, give me time, I need to think, oh, I don't know what I want. Oh, I want a car, I want a house, I want a da, da, da. You need to sit down and have a plan yeah. that gives you control over uh, the finances to, yeah. and how to spend the finances that are coming your way. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Carter? Uh, yes. Car how about you, Car uh, Yeah, so just to add on to what she's saying, uh, money has a voice. Mm -hmm. It does. And that's why when you when you get money and you've not planned for it, you'll find yourself doing something that wasn't even in your priority. Because it's like it wants to go. Yeah. So the best way to plan for money is to think of the future. Where do you want to be in the next five, ten years? What do you want to be doing? What do you want to have? <laughs> that one helps you plan. Remember there's a time uh, one of our pastors was making a joke and he was saying just that whole trajectory of money having a voice yeah. whereby it's time for offering or tithe or whatever mm -hmm. and then you put your hand in your pocket <laughs> and then you touch the a thousand bob it says hey i'm not going so you leave the a thousand bob candle you touch the five so the five so says hey <laughs> Leave me alone. You keep going until the 50 Not bob. Today, so the 50 bob says, okay, now me, I'm okay to go. That's when you remove. And he was just trying to emphasize how if you don't plan for money, money will plan for itself. Yes. Yeah, so just it's, to add on what so allows it. It's true. Yeah. I think something else that I probably mentioned is still in the same line of planning. Mm -hmm whereby you are not influenced by what you're seeing others do. Mm. Probably them they've planned to buy the 100,000, the 150,000 pair of shoe. And they've saved towards that. Yeah. But you're like, oh, that's a cool pair of okay. shoe. Yeah, yeah. If I get my salary this month, I'm going to forgo rent. Yeah. I, my landlord will understand. I mean, it's going to cover it, I understand, and I let go <laughs> for yeah. this one time. And then I'll buy the pair of shoe. So there's also external influence on what you're, you're buying or what you're purchasing. Yeah. I can say external pressures, which will not in any way influence on how you're using your money you should be the one with a plan to decide where you're spending your money and also you do it with wisdom Definitely. yeah Definitely. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I, I, but i love what you say that money has well as you continue to money mm. has a mm. yeah but as we as we continue uh, i'd like us to get now uh, into Having now, you guys have been married for how long now? Going to five now. Yeah. Great. Isn't it? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> even from your previous, before you got married, mm. and maybe when you were in a relationship, how, what was the relationship between you guys and money itself? So, how would you wow. spend? So, now I know this is a whole, whole, very good topic about yes. money and relationships. Yes. But you can go as extensive as you it's, like. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So, how, let's maybe begin from the, the dating phase. Yes. Um, do you two come together and we are like, uh, because a lot of nowadays I see there's a lot of pressure on relationships and money, you know, it's either we do 50-50, yeah. it's either we decide if we are committing to each other, then it's everything, yours yeah. is mine, mine yeah. is yours, but if it's for a lady, it's yeah. the, the man's money is ours, the man's and then the the lady, it is mine, yeah, so <laughs> that, how was it for marriage. you, let's start with dating first, yeah. Yeah. Yes. in dating I was the extravagant one, mm -hmm. Curtis was the saver. Uh -huh. So he's the so one. So you would spend would, more. Yes, uh, I, I was okay. so random with money. Mm -hmm. I'm like, money comes, you know, money uh -huh. goes. So say look on I To me a pesa. To me, to me a pesa. You could do it. You could do it. By the way, I like that. I like it. I like it. <laughs> that was me. Uh -huh. And then I met Katis, and I'm like, what do you mean we can't buy this? What do you mean we can't spend money mm -hmm. at this particular restaurant? Okay, okay. He was more thought. He thought through how mm -hmm. we are spending money. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think it was a bit of an adjustment even when we got married because mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, we've been paid, we've paid rent, we've paid in here. Okay. I'd actually, I could easily spend the entire money and be left with nothing for the next two weeks. I'm like, okay, so to Nangalina, to Nakula, I need Not that my eye in is bad, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you thought wisely, you would have actually yeah. budgeted better. Yes, yeah. and spent to better. So uh, still. I still have that tendency of spending money, but I have him to put 
me on bricks mm. there's a way now we sit down and say okay you are a spender mm. there's nothing wrong with you wanting certain things yeah. Yeah. you can still put them aside put some money aside to get it yeah. and then with Curtis now we have a savings culture whereby we can still put aside some for a rainy day but in dating I'd say it was a bit of a struggle when we are together we just tuta, tuta, tuta fanya, tuta gawa kidogo. but when by, I'm by myself when I earn my own money I'd spend it the first week of yeah. I'm like I'm single I'm not paying rent you know yeah. <laughs> And I was like, gosh, you know, as actually I regretted when I got married, I'm like, what did I used to do with the money that I earned when I was a single lady? Looking back, yeah. Yes, and because I didn't pay rent, mm-hmm. I started paying rent when I got married, yeah, and I'm like, it where doesn't, did it all go? yes, where did it all, yeah, I, w- yeah. I should have saved it, mm-hmm. but I'd spend it on eating, I'd spend it on products, I'd spend it on clothes, yeah. yes. And Curtis would actually, he was so worried, I'm like, I don't understand how you are doing certain things. If anything, when you started planning for our wedding, he gave me certain responsibilities. With your salary, you have to meet this and this and this. I'm like, what? It's going to be so hard. So I had to buy, you're going to buy your gown, you're going to buy your shoes, Ama, you're going to pay for half food or half tents, you know. So I had to be a bit responsible with the money that I'm getting. The last five or three months to my wedding, I was sure that I didn't have much to spend on my own, but put aside for the wedding, and that will now set me up for the for life in yeah. in, in marriage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably you can share or in dating till marriage. Uh, <laughs> what are the systems and principles? Yeah. Systems and principles. <laughs> because I know you're a man of systems, systems and, and principles. principles. Hey, yeah. can never get enough of that. Yeah. Um, if you want to know somebody's vision mm. or lack of it, mm. look at yeah. where their money is going. It's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, where somebody spends their money, it will tell you the kind of vision mm. or goals this person has for, yeah. for, for their life. And uh, what Soila shared is actually very critical because mm. Soila was, uh, you know, Random. money is for spending, yeah. you know? Yeah. And for me, I think because I moved out earlier, you know how she never experienced living alone. Yeah. Yeah. So she never probably knew what it meant. Yeah. So for yeah. me, after after lacking tokens a few days and having to stitch my trousers mm-hmm. a couple of times because I couldn't afford a new one, I was like, hey, I'm going to go. So it really trained me to, to be responsible yeah. with money as quick as possible. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, what, what I usually say is that Soila is the kind of person who, for me, I'd rather live in a manyata, but I have a million bob in the bank. I'm not spending it, yeah. I just feel nice that it's there. Be safe. Uh-huh. Soila would rather buy a 200k dress, but she's sleeping hungry. <laughs> 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 so, it's sort of like in our nature as well. Uh, it is, yeah, I mean, women, no, we love spending. Reason. You want the best of the yeah. new stuff. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. So it's, yet you have yeah. so it's okay. not really a bad thing, but I think what she said, mm-hmm. the balance is where they, they need Because, mm-hmm. you know, the, the problem also with, with being a saver or an economic, mm-hmm. or econo, the one who economizes, yes. yeah. Is uneza jisa how? Unajini. Yeah, because there are times I've spent on everybody in the house, I've paid bills, and then me, I'm there. Okay. I don't have anything. And then Soela is like, I cut it surely. Mm-hmm. You're also forgetting yourself. yourself. Yeah. So I also like the fact that sometimes it's not bad to spoil yourself. Yeah. The problem is the extremes. <laughs> yeah. When you're extremely economic, you'll end up being stingy. Yeah. When you're extremely extravagant, spend, yes, yeah. you'll end up being. You spend a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah. So coming in between is is where you economize and it's funny that this, this kind of people end up getting married yeah, to each other yeah. most of the With different time extreme yes yes, we are. yes so i think the balance is where the the, the key thing is yeah, yeah. So when, now that your mind has yeah. that now made things definitely marriage made things hey, marriage better. marriage is an entirely different couple <laughs> but even uh-huh. even before you go to marriage mm. while you're in your in dating yeah, in dating, those are, yeah is it like an obligation non- is an obligation the right word? Mm-hmm. But uh, are you obligated to that task of, uh, yes, we are partners, yes, we're in a relationship, but uh, do you have to know what I'm doing with my 100,000 or my 20,000? How I'm spending? Hmm. Yeah. My opinion yeah. if we are getting married, if you are dating I have to, to get know. married, ah, okay. yes, right. there has to be. Trust. If we are not going to get married, you live your life. Okay. Yeah. But if we are going to get yes. married, because for yeah. me, my, my, my opinion of, ma- of marriage, I usually people. It's usually here people saying 50 mm. 50. Yeah, yeah, that's right. For me, marriage is 100 100. 200. You bring your 100%, yeah. I bring my 100%. Yeah. 
So if we are going to get married, I need to know your money habits. Yeah. I don't want to get What's a culture shock mm. But when you're getting married, you hear I have yeah. a loan. Yeah. And, and, and when, when we like get married, this. that that burden will be on both, both of us, of us. because yeah, yeah. there's no way she's going to struggle with the loan yeah. alone yeah. and we are married. They will come for our assets yeah. together, you yeah. know. So it has to be So so for me it's a hundred a hundred. So I need to know your money habits. Okay. Not so that I may control you. It's not about yeah. control. No. It's just about knowing so how do we do this thing together? Okay. Yeah. 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 I know people there's a bit of lack of transparency in marriage mm. and it's so unfortunate that there are men who do not know what their women are earning and mm. women who do not know mm, mm, mm. their assets yes, yes, that yes, the men yes. have mm. people die and you unakuja to see the husband had yes. a different yeah. bank account yeah. as oh the woman has a different and i'm like why would you live life yeah. in such fear mm. if I, honestly, I don't understand why people do that. But also, mm-hmm. it could be you have to acknowledge where it's coming people are from. Coming from because yeah. there are people who've gotten married to take advantage of others. Mm, okay. okay. So it's it's not the best example to use, but you know people sometimes come from trauma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You you know somebody who got married and then the person they married Kumbe was after their money. Yeah. yeah. So to be safe, you also end up being yeah. secretive. Being, yeah. But that's the unfortunate bit. It's yeah. not supposed to be that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! But there's something you mentioned about dating, <clears throat> yeah. whereby who takes the bill? Is it the man? Is it the woman? Is it our money? There's always so, that. I, I know mm. for us when we were dating, I mean it was very transparent. How much do I have? Two hundred? Mm. You have three hundred? Okay, we have five hundred bob for a date. What can we do? Mm. I remember we used to, we've shared this in our YouTube channel. Mm. We used to love the Uchumi. Was it Uchumi Hyper? Not Uchumi Hyper. Uchumi, the one in Tao. Yeah. Because they used to have yeah, like fantastic sandwiches yeah. and with 500 us as well for lunch yeah. you know would go power buy sandwich. power sandwich yeah. was so big yeah. would go get a power sandwich and yogurt and then go to the what the do you call the place? yes yeah. and sit down and have our date and you're okay when you have surplus and enough because yeah. both of us had just yeah. we are now starting to look for jobs we are yeah. out of university we didn't have a lot yes you're still coming from our mom's our parents house so we didn't have Enough. enough yeah. But with the little that we had, we are very transparent about it. If I was the one with many, imagine I'd pay for the date. Mm-hmm. Because he was the one with enough, he'd pay for the date. If we had Nusunus, we'll just have the kibaba with the yeah. little that we have. We're very transparent yeah. with our finances. Yeah. I know right now people say for the first date the man who has to pay for yeah. it. I mean, it, it depends with your culture. You know. Do you get <laughs> but it's, it depends with the culture. It's only fair. It's yeah, only fair. It's fair. It's it's to take you to deal on the call me out for the first date, <laughs> and by the time you're calling somebody out for the date, yeah. you already have, have a yes. plan for it. Yeah. You have yeah. a. You should have a plan for yeah. it, unless now you say this is the plan. I want us to go for a date. Yeah. I don't have enough. Do you mind yeah. chunkying twenty no. percent yeah. of what you're going to spend? So that calls makes for better sense. Yeah. Yes, kuliko people muna patana kwa date alafu you're paying for yours, I'm paying for yours. So like uh, I didn't Communication is key. Communication is very key on anything. I know I know the the white culture is you will sort your bill out. I can call you out for a date and hang out, mm. but no, you're taking up your bill. You'll pay yours, I'll pay mine. That's what I've seen. That's what I've heard that they do. So don't go expecting that since you'll be called out for a hangout, yeah. they're going to pay for your bill. Uh-uh. You drink as much as you want or eat as much as you sort want. Yourself. You will sort yourself out. So that's how it is. So yes. now, now that you're married, what are now the dynamics we have in? Definitely things have changed. Yeah. Yes. I need your money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How would, well, what's your take on that? Or rather, what would you recommend? Yeah. Yeah. For those looking to get married, those who are newly married, yeah. married.